Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello everybody, how are you today? Fine, and you? I am doing great, very good. No, I'm fine. Excellent. How was your day? It's a pleasure to see you. My camera, it's a little dark. I don't know what's going on. There. Hello, Mr. Diego, Anita, Jorge, Guadalupe. Mirnita, it's a pleasure to have you here and for sure to start another opportunity of learning today. Did you have the chance to see the map and to choose one of the places of the city to describe? Did you have the chance to choose one of them? Good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. So today we are going to work on that one, right? We are going to finish working on the places in town. And for sure, we are going to talk a little bit about directions and a little bit about uh, how to describe where a place is located. So that's the first thing we are going to do this evening, right? So that's why I sent you the map for you to check it and for you to tell me what uh, different places are in the map and for sure where they are located. I sent you one example and for sure, I sent you a couple of questions of places and we are going to develop that today. So I hope that all of you have at least one of the places ready because we are going to use it, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to do today. I am going to show you the map again and for sure, I am going to give you some definitions on how to use it. So I hope that all of you had a beautiful day today and that all of you are fine. So before going into this, I am going to give you a couple of example sentences. So you can check if the sentence that you have, it's correct and complete. So we are going to work on this first to start our class, right? As we only have one hour, we have to take the best advantage of it. So when we describe a position of a place, we are going to use different prepositions, right? We're going to use prepositions of place. They are going to help us to know where something is located. So yesterday we were using different types of prepositions, right? We said on, in front of, across, from, uh, on the corner of, right? And when we use them in sentences, we, we do the following. For example, we have to talk about the place that we are talking, right? Escogemos primero el lugar del que vamos a hablar. So you say the bank. Then you need to have the verb to be. So you say the bank is, because it's only one place that we are talking about. Then we are going to use the preposition of place. So you say in front of, okay? If you are going to talk about the location of the place. And if you have another place here, so you say the bank is in front of the park, okay? In this case, something curious that you can see, you cannot say bank is in front of park. Because if not, that would be very Indian, right? Banco en frente de parque. So that would be a very Indian way to say it. No indio de indio, indios, no indio de indio de pluma. Banco frente a parque. So that's not correct. So in this case, you say the bank is in front of the park, right? El banco está frente al parque. 
what happens if you have the name of the place? If you have the name of the place, so you can say, uh, imagine that you have Payless, right? Payless is next to uh, next to Cinemark. Okay. And why? Tell me why. In this case, I don't use the. Porque en este caso no digo the Payless next to the Cinemark. Uh -huh. Who can help me with that? Who can help me with that definition? Why in this case, I don't use the payless is next to the Cinemark. Why? Porque ya está definida la tienda. Uh, it's close. The answer is close. Uh -huh. Ya está definida la tienda. Good answer, but it's something more specific. Porque ya da la marca, o sea, el nombre en sí. Exactly like that, because we are using the name, right? Because we are using the name. And that is one thing that, for example, in Spanish, we have that problem. And you say, la Natalie, la Guadalupe. You say, la Jasmine, la Sandra, we say. And we are not objects. And we put la or el in front of that one, right? La calor, you say. <laughs> that's not correct, right? In this case, if we have proper names, we don't use the, right? You don't say the, for example, another, another case, uh, the Neveria ice cream shop is not correct, right? So you say Neveria right? or the ice cream shop, right? It's just like that. Sarita ice cream shop, it's next to, uh, I don't know, the bank, something like that. So we need to be very careful with that thing. We need to be very careful with those specific details, right? So in this case, we have this example. But what happens when you want to talk and you want to use the street? And when you want to be more specific, I have another example. Using between. In this case, give me one place, one place in town. Deme un ejemplo de un lugar en, el, en la ciudad. Any, we, we started like 100 yesterday. Chinese um, restaurant? The Chinese restaurant, right? So you say, the Chinese restaurant, the Chinese restaurant is between. Okay, if you have between, you have to have other two places, right? Si usamos la preposición between, tenemos que tener otros dos lugares. It's between, you can say, the bank, and the movie theater. Book, the it's, this, this is just the first example, right? Aquí no les quería dar su ejemplo completo. I was just inventing another example. In this case, we have the Chinese restaurant. It's an example. It's between the bank and the movie theater. And when you say on the corner of, ahí vamos a ocupar las calles. Porque estamos hablando de la esquina. Imagine that I say, for example, here, the school, the school is on the corner of, uh, uh, imagine that we say uh, Ross Street and Second Avenue. Okay. This is just to invent something, right? And you have here, the, the school is on the corner of Ross Street and Second Avenue, okay? So you know that it's on the corner of these two different streets, right? So the sentences need to have this different order, right? The, prep the place, the verb to be, the preposition, and the complement. If you want to be more specific, the school is on the corner of Ross Street and Second Avenue next to, next to the kindergarten, next to the kindergarten and 
across from the uh, grocery store, just to tell you something, right? And in this one, we are making a very specific definition. El que no encuentre la escuela es porque, verá, se perdió. The school is on the corner of Ross Street and Second Avenue, next to the kindergarten and across from the grocery store. So the definition is very complete, right? So in this case, you give a very specific definition. All of you have one definition, right? Is it clear how to use it? How to use it in writing? Nos queda claro la estructura gramatical de cómo escribimos las descripciones? Because if this one is clear, we are going to make some examples, right? You can follow the same structure, right? The bank is in front of the park. If I go here to the map, si regreso al mapa y les digo, the park, where is the park located? ¿Quién me podría guiar al parque? Where is the park located? A ver si lo escribí bien. Okay, go ahead, Wendy. The, the park is on Main Street across from the bookstore. Okay, the park is on Main Street across from the bookstore. Very good job. In this case, we have here, and I'm going to make the little picture. The park is on Main Street, right? This is Main Street across mm. from the bookstore. What can make it more specific? ¿Qué lo haría más específico? Una parada de bus. Ajá, it's on Main Street. But what about if you say it's on the corner of Main on and... The corner, main. corner of Main Street. Main and... Maple Street. Main and Maple, right? It's on the corner of Main and Maple across from the bookstore. And in front of the swimming pool, right? So you have, you can be a little bit more specific if you want. So you can say exactly on the bus stop. On the bus stop. So that can be more specific. But Wendy, it was a very good example. What about if I ask you, where is the grocery store? But the big one, the big grocery store, where is it? Who can help me with that one? ¿Quién trabajó esta grocery store? The grocery store is on Maple Street next to parking lot and in front of the bank. Okay, next to parking lot. ¿Qué nos hace falta ahí? Next to? Next to the park. Exactly like that. Very good job. Next to the parking lot. And? Across from, okay, in este caso sí sería across from porque tenemos la calle, ¿verdad? across from the bank. Very good job, very good job, Miss Guadalupe. Excellent. I want to go to the music store. Where is the music store? Who can help me with this one? Me. Okay, Tatiana, go ahead. Uh... The music store is on Davis Street and between Mustang and Bank in front of movie theater. Okay, in front of movie theater. ¿Qué nos falta? Compañeros, ¿qué le corregiríamos? It's on David Street between newsstand and the bank. In front of movie theater. Yo puse que es um, between the newsstand and payphone. Uh -huh. Between the newsstand and the payphone. Yes, that's a very good job, right? You have the, the payphone here. In the case of Tati, the sentence is good because it says it's on David's street between the newsstand and the bank, right? Across from. Recuerden que si tenemos que cruzarnos la calle across es from. across from. from. Aquí en, en the payphone sí podemos decir que está, digamos, next to the bank or in front of the music store. It can be, right? Porque casi siempre están en el andén. So in this case, you can say in front. It is common to say in front. 
enfrente de, nosotros estamos acostumbrados en El Salvador, ah, estamos enfrente del subway, les digo yo. Aunque tendría que decir, estamos across from subway because I need to cross the street, right? But it's good, it's correct. Let's see, I want to go to the post office. How do I find the post office? Where is the post office? Who can help me? It's on Main Street. Uh -huh. Across the bank. Across? From? Across? Across from the bank. Across from the bank, right? It's on Main Street, across from the bank. Next to what? Next, Next to, to Italian, Italian restaurant. restaurant. Next to the Italian restaurant. Next to the Italian restaurant. Okay, very good job. So I am going to choose. Besides. Uh, besides uh, you can say besides. Uh, it, you can besides say besides. Besides the Italian restaurant. Besides the Italian restaurant, you can use it as well, right? Besides. Okay, let me see. I am going to give you different places to different people, but I am going to use another map because this one you already know it. Este ya se lo puede. I am going to choose another map. Here we have. And I think you can see it. Let me erase this one because I need you to see it better, right? I am going to make it big for you to recognize it. As you can see here, here we have, what is the name of this, of this place right here? It's a gas station. It's a gas station. Here we have the hospital. Hospital. the post office here we have the next place that we have here is the bookstore this one is the bookstore right this one here is the bookstore and here we continue here we have Drugstore. The drugstore right we have the drugstore the supermarket we have Maria's restaurant the bank the department store, the parking lot. Here we have the park, the movie theater, and the shoes and the coffee shop, right? These are the places that we have in this map. Here behind, we have other two places that I am going to give them a name. This one is going to be this one is going to be a bank, right? Let me make it a different color because it's a horrible green. This one is the bank. And now we have the bank right there. This is going to be the... Bakery? The bakery. What a delicious place. The bakery. This is going to be the bakery. And this is going to be the... Let me see. This is going to be the candy shop. Okay, this is going to be the candy shop. I am going to give a different name to this. one. This is the candy shop, the bakery, and here we have the other ones. This one here on the corner is going to be, this one is going to be English Corporativo. Here you have, this is English Corporativo on the corner here. Okay, este de la esquina. This is English Corporativo. So there you have the different places. I am going to give you a place, each of you. David Rafael. David Rafael, ¿estamos? Sí, digo. Okay, David Rafael is going to work with the gas station. Escríbame lo más detallado posible dónde está la gas station, okay? Con todo el detalle que pueda. The gas station. Wendy, Lisette, you are going to talk about the hospital. Okay, let's continue. Guadalupe, you are going to talk about English Corporativo. The most detail possible. Let's see. Mirna Yasmin, Maria's Restaurant. Sandra Beatriz is going to talk about the bakery. Diana Beatriz, you are going to talk about the supermarket. Cynthia Marisol, you are going to work on the city bank. Juana Margarita, it's going to work with 
the park. Let's see, Roberto Carlos is going to help me with the movie theater. The movie theater, Roberto. Uh, Tatiana Abigail is going to work with the drugstore. The drugstore. Lorena, estamos Lore? Okay, favorite shoes. You're going to work with the shoes. Favorite shoes. Okay, Josué va viendo el partido. Josué, ¿estamos? Ok, Josué, Alex Coffee Shop. Oscar Otoniel, The Candy Shop. Ok. Ok, The Candy Shop. Uh, find it and tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, usted, <laughs> me, usted me está guiando. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Carito, the candy shop. Thank you. Jorge, you are going to work with the city bank. The city bank. Okay. Isela, Isela, are you there? Yes. Isela, oh, sorry, Josue, you are driving. Forget it. Isela is going to work with the bookstore. The bookstore. Okay. Diego Rodrigo, si me escuchas, porque no veo tu micrófono, eh, on the chat, send me the coffee shop, okay? Diego Rodrigo, send me the coffee shop. Si me escuchaste, dame like ahí en la plataforma. Adriana, you are going to work with the department store, okay? Adrianita, ¿estamos ahí? Okay, es que no veo sus cámaras, eso es lo que no, no me ayuda. Eh, Eric Javier. Hello, teacher. You are going to work with the post office. The post office. Okay, uh, David Rafael. The post office. You have post to tell office. me. You have to tell me directions about the post office. Okay, David Rafael, ya le di. David Alejandro, you are going to work with the parking lot. David Alejandro, are you there? I will make it bigger, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> okay, ahorita, ahorita lo hago más grande. Ahorita. So, let me see. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, just I will finish assigning and then I will make it bigger. Okay, David? Uh, Brian Francisco? Okay. Just to check. Brian Francisco is going to work with the bank. Ana Ruth. Hello, Ana Ruth. Are you there? Yes, Ana Ruth, you are going to work with Inglés Corporativo. Give me the most detailed description. And Carlos Ernesto is going to work with the bakery, okay? So let me see if I can make it bigger. And I am going to try, okay? I'm going to try to make it bigger. Let me see. What happens if I do this? Okay, veamos qué pasa. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that this was going to happen. Wait. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Forget it. I am going to fix it. Ahorita se los arreglo. Give me a sec. Okay, I am going to close this one and I'm going to make it better, better looking. Okay, and here we go. I think it's going to work now. Yo creo que sí me va a funcionar. Okay, let's see. Yay! It's better. Hoy sí lo pueden ver mejor. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Remember that this one is the bakery. This one is the... I am going to make it here. This one was the bakery. 
this was the candy shop. And this was English Corporativo. And here we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sending sending it to the chat. That's, that would be perfect, right? Si lo pueden enviar al chat, sería muchísimo mejor. Así podemos revisar también la grammar. Okay, that would be perfect. Very good job. Okay, I have two already. It says it's on the main street in Park between. Okay, in this case. Okay, en el caso este, por ejemplo, aquí tengo un ejemplo ahí en el chat. Y dice, it's on the main street. Main street sería el nombre de la calle. Main, principal. It's on main street and park street. Between the department store. En Marías Restaurant. Okay, I sent you the correction there. The gas station is on the corner. I have one here. And first, um, okay. Recuerden que los nombres de las calles y las avenidas van con mayúsculas. Across from. Okay, very good job. I have. In front of the bookstore. Very good job, Eric. The only thing fue la mayúscula al principio. Eric, I will send you the correction there. The post okay. office is on the corner of 2nd Avenue. 2nd es el nombre propio, right? 2nd Avenue in front of the bookstore. Okay, y el punto al final. That's important. There you go. Inglés corporativo is on the corner, right? Remember, it's on the corner. In the corner, no existe. It's on the corner, okay? It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. It's across from, from the park on First Avenue. And it's across from the parking lot on Main Street. Very good job. The drugstore is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue next to uh, J Supermarket across from the candy shop. Okay. A todos les estoy enviando su corrección. ¿ves? Ahí se están pendientes del chat. So in this case, you say the drugstore is on the corner of, remember the names of the streets with capital, Center Street and Second. Avenue next Pontera, next to P and J's supermarket across from the candy shop. Okay, there you go. You have the correction there. The bakery is next to the candy shop. Okay, remember the bakery next to the candy shop. Cuando hago esto siento que le voy agarrando el cuaderno cada uno. <laughs> <laughs> it's next to the candy shop across from the hospital uh, on Center Street. No podemos decir in Center Street porque iríamos dentro de la calle. On 
Center Street. No decimos on the Center Street. What difference between Center Street and downtown? Okay, in this case, Center Street is the name of the street. But if you say downtown, do you mean the center of the city? Okay, el significado de downtown es el centro de la ciudad. En este caso, tenemos Center Street. Center Street es el nombre de la calle. Okay, that's the, the name. Okay, that's, that, that would be the definition. Cuando decimos, I live downtown, it's like yo vivo en el centro de la ciudad. But if I say, I live in Center Street, así se llama la calle. La calle central. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good question. It's next to the candy shop. Okay, I will continue checking here. Across from the hospital on Center Street. Good job. Let's continue. The supermarket is across, across from. Recuerden, siempre va across from. Okay, so you say the supermarket is across from uh, Main Street. Okay, how is that across from Main Street? The supermarket is, uh, let me see, the supermarket is on Main Street. The supermarket is on Main Street. It's on Main Street. Uh, in front of favorite shoes. Okay, in front of favorite shoes or across from favorite shoes. That's correct. The candy shop is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue next to the bakery and across from the post office. Very good job, Oscar Otoniel. Very good job. Uh, Carlos Ernesto, what happened to me? <laughs> okay, Carlitos. Estamos trabajando en las direcciones. Tienes que trabajar en la que te asigné a ti. Ah, Carlitos, creo que te asigné el parking lot. Okay, let's continue here. Cynthia, the city bank is on Main Street between, okay, the Maria's Restaurant. Maria's Restaurant ya es un nombre propio. So you cannot change it with that. So you say the city bank is on Main Street between Maria's Restaurant and the department store across from, across from the movie theater. Very good job. The department store is on the corner of Main Street and next to the bakery. Very good job. Great, Ursula. Nice job. Very good. It's on the corner of Main Street. ¿Y qué otra calle? It's on the corner of Main Street and the department store and First Avenue. Okay, aquí nos hizo falta esto. And First Avenue. Next to the bakery. Okay, let me see. The hospital is on the corner of Center Street and First Avenue across from the gas station on First street across from the department store and central street very good definition wendy very clear the only change that i will make that it's the, when it says across from the gas station on the first street you say on first street maria's restaurant is on main street next to mirna next Nos comimos la tela. next to uh, Citibank, it's across from the movie theater on the corner of 2nd Avenue. And, ¿cuál es la otra calle? Center Street. Okay, there you go. And, oh, I have many more. Citibank, it's on the corner of Main Street, of the Main Street. Chicos, ya la calle se llama Main, no le pongamos da. It's on the corner of Main Street and, okay, cuando pongamos on the corner, tenemos que ocupar las dos calles, right? City Bank, it's on the corner of Main Street. Where is the City Bank? El City Bank está en una esquina. Yes or no? 
Uh -huh. The city bank is on the corner. No. No, it's between. It's Be between. Between what? Between the uh, department store uh -huh. and Maria restaurant. Exactly like that. The city bank is between, right? Between the between the department store and the restaurant and the restaurant on main street and on main street right across from regency movie theater between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Okay, we are going to leave it like this, okay? Excellent. Good definition. And one of the last ones, the favorite shoes is on the corner of Second Avenue in front of, Lorena, in front of. Okay, we need to keep it in mind. Uh, so you say in front of the coffee shop, okay? Vayan revisando todas las correcciones que les he hecho a todos sus compañeros en el chat para que ustedes se den cuenta también eh, cosas que no tenemos que hacer. En the last one, inglés corporativo is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue across from the parking lot. Very good. Excellent. No mistakes. Maria's Restaurant is on Main Street next to. Next to. Nos comimos ahí la T. Next. Next to Citibank, uh, it's across from the movie theater on the corner of Second Avenue and Main Street. Okay, and there you go. Excellent job creating the sentences, people. Very good job. We have many sentences and many corrections. You did a very excellent job with the sentences. You see, en una clase presencial me hubiera ido cuaderno por cuaderno, <laughs> checking. But I, I really like to do this and to take this moment to check because in the virtual classes, it's very difficult for you to check grammar. But I really like to take these little moments to do it, okay? Carlito says the parking lot is on First Avenue in front of the department store next to the Gus Gas Station. Very good job. Remember, Gus Gas Station, it's a proper name. So it has to be with capital. It is a good job. Exactly like that. You did only one, right? Así como hicieron uno. Pueden hacer toda la definición del mapa. You can write all the different names of the map. Right? For you to practice, for you to practice and remember that the only thing, the only thing that it's going to bring you perfection is practice. That's the only thing that it's going to give you a perfect English to practice a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, let's continue right here. I think it's clear now how to use the different places in the map, right? And Based on this one, we are going to complete this little exercise that we have here, okay? We have the map. We have the map and you already checked the map, right? And I have here a little bit of practice. Do you remember the coffee shop? It says it's on Second Avenue. It's the shoe store. It is what? Teacher, one yeah. question. Yes. ¿En qué momento utilizamos on o in? Ah, good question. I, I explained you a little bit that one. When you are talking about the streets. When you are talking about the streets, remember that on means sobre de. Okay, on. It means on something. In the case of the street, if you say in, it's inside the street. Maybe if it is a subway, right? estar in the street, but on porque vas sobre la calle. So if you talk about the streets, in this case, you say on, on Center Street, on Second Avenue, on First Avenue, on Main Street. Okay, in sería dentro de, y on es sobre 
algo. That's the difference between in and on. That in this case, if you have a good example, you are on First Avenue, right? Vas caminando y vas on First Avenue. Pero después te metes a la department store. Ahí puedes decir, I am in the department store because you are inside. Porque estás aquí adentro del edificio. So you can say, I am here in the department store. Ah, ok, I am going to go there. Entonces yo también me meto a, a, a la tienda por departamentos. So in that case, you use in. But if you are If you are outside, so you say, I am here on Metro Centro. I am right in front of Metro Centro. I am on Main Street. Okay. And I am in the bank right now because you are inside of the place. Okay. Si estás dentro de los edificios, you can use in. Si estás en la calle, you can say on. That's another definition, another okay. difference. Thank you. Very good job. So, Let's go back to the sentences. It says here, the shop. The shop is on Second Avenue, is the shoe store. ¿Qué preposición nos hace falta aquí? If we are talking about the shoe store. Next to. It's next to, next very to. good job. It's next to, okay? In this case, you say the coffee shop is on, is on Second Avenue, is next to the shoe store. The movie theater is Park and Main. The movie theater, Park and Main. The movie theater, Park on the corner. Very good. The movie theater is on the corner of, on the corner of Park and Main. Is the park. It's okay, una callecita. From. Exactly across like that. From. Across from the park. From. It's across from the park. The gas station, the parking lot. It's first and center. The gas station, the parking lot. First and center. The gas station. Is across from. It's across from the parking lot. First and center. On the corner on, of the corner. First the Avenue. Cor Very good. On the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Very good job. Excellent. I like it. The post office. The post office is the parking lot. The post office. The parking lot, it says. Ah, oh, sorry, the gas station. <laughs> I was reading the other one. The post office is center and second. The post office. On the on corner. The corner on of. The corner of, on the very corner. good. The post office is on the corner of center and second. The corner. It's the hospital. It's next to. Very good job. It's next to the hospital. And the last one, the bank is the restaurant and the department store. Between. 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 Very good. It's on, on Main Street, right? On it's Main Street. on Main Street. Excellent job. It's on Main Street. This topic is not complicated, but you need to be very observative. You need to be very careful with details, right? Tienen que ser muy observadores, tienen que tener mucho cuidado. Okay, very good job. So we are going to do a little exercise. We are going to do a little exercise. And on this exercise that we have here, I am going to give you some uh, like examples. You are going to use there is and there are. And you say, in our city, there is a bank, there are three schools, there is a church, and you are going to invent other things that you have in your city. You can say one, two, three, or four. The different things that you want to have in your city. And we're going to use this one first, with there is and there are. In our city, porque van a estar en 
en grupitos. In our city, there is a bank, there are three schools, there is a church, there is a swimming pool, there is a bakery. What things do you want to have in your city? And what is the name of your city? Le van a poner nombre a su ciudad y qué tienen ahí. ¿Qué es lo que hay en su ciudad? It's yours. You can have everything that you want. If you want to have a discotheque, if you want to have a bar, if you want to have a candy shop, if you want to have a bakery, it's okay. If you want to have seven universities, it's your city, right? You decide. I, I will have like seven schools, seven English corporativos. <laughs> But that will be my city, right? You are going to use there is, and if you have more, there are. Okay, I am going to give you around 10 minutes for you to invent your city, right? Cosas sencillas. Y solo van a ir medio tomando notas de qué es lo que le quieren poner a su ciudad. And you are going to invent a little city, right? We are going to make only four groups for this. And I need you to help each other, okay? Necesito que se ayuden entre ustedes. That's very important, okay? So I have groups of six people. Go and invent your city. You have to tell me what places do you have and what is the name of your city, okay? La más importante son los lugares. That you can say one bank, three bakeries, two schools, uh, seven churches. I don't know if you want to be very religious. <laughs> you can have like seven churches whatever you want. Go and invent your city and give me the places that you have, okay? Accept my invitation to go to the groups right now. Okay, Roberto and Lorena, did you receive my invitations to go to the groups? And I know, okay, very good. Miss Lorena and Mr. Roberto, accept my invitations to go to the groups. I will send you a picture of this. Okay, Robert and Lore, did you receive my invitations? Chico, recibieron mi invitación para los grupos? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ajá, empecemos a armar. Sí, San Salvador, mm. sí. San Salvador, eh. sí. Ah, San Salvador, sí. Al revés. Our city is San Salvador. Ok. Are... Um, our city, vea. No, sí. Yeah. Our city is San Salvador. In our city... <laughs> San Salvador. Okay, and remember that if you put the name, for example, si le pusieron nombre y se llama San Salvador, right? In our city, uh -huh. is, you, you don't have to repeat the, the name. Mm. Okay. okay, there you go. I will send you the example. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría, teacher? There you go. I sent you the example already. Les acabo de enviar el ejemplo. 
So you have, imagine oh, that you have here, imagine that your city here is San Salvador, right? Yo creí que le iban a poner como, como Rainbow City or something like that. So you say San Salvador. Okay, that's your city. In our city, there is a bank, there are three schools, there is a church, etc. right? Exactly like I, what I am sharing right now. Así como se las estoy compartiendo aquí. Okay. And I send it on the chat already, okay? También ya se las envía al chat. So sí, okay. you have it there. So continue inventing. You can just invent places, okay? That's what I need, that you invent places. Okay, there are un aproximado de iglesias en El Salvador. Bueno, no, in, invent, invent. Okay. Invent. Yeah, esta ciudad de ustedes. Aquí le pueden poner, si quieren ponerle solo candy shops, pónganle solo candy shops. Si quieren tener siete bakeries, pónganle siete bakeries. It's okay. Sí, Seven. No. There are four movie theaters. It's okay. It's your city, right? Esta ciudad de ustedes. Hagan la suya. Okay? Invent okay. whatever you want. You say like, I people, I want to have 20 banks. It's okay. I want to have 14 car wash. I don't <laughs> There are many cars. I want to have a lot of restaurants. You can have a lot of restaurants. It's your city. Invent. Okay, I will come back in a moment. Ya Hello. Hello. What is the name of your city? <laughs> we are working on... on the places. <laughs> okay, that's correct. Yes. Okay, Pokemon Go le voy a poner. <laughs> Pokemon Paradise. No. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always say that. Like, siempre que trabajamos en las clases, yo le digo, vale, póngale nombre al grupo. Si no le pone nombre, le pongo yo. <laughs> And I invent these crazy names for them. The Jocote Team. That can be a good name for the city. De Jocote Paradise. Quesadilla City. Quesadilla City. Good job. Surf City, Quesadilla City. Very good. <laughs> okay, invent the places. I am going to come back. Sigo inventando sus lugares. Ya vuelvo. I will come back in a moment. There is, there is uh, licor in... store está también. Licor pero creo que como una tienda de licores, creo que no es como cantina. La cantina, Miss. <laughs> the bar. The, the bar. bar. There is one bar. There is one bar, yeah. So you say, there is a bar. There is a bar. There a is bar. a bar. There yes. is a bar. If you say there is a liquor store, es una tienda de, yeah, tienda ah. de abarrotes de licores, right? It's okay. Pero es más, es más como, como no como cantina, o, o sí. <laughs> well, yes. No, es que aquí Dep se cantina. Depende. Va más directo al hígado, va más directo al hígado. <laughs> no, <laughs> here in El Salvador, unfortunately, it is like that, right? Aquí en El Salvador, lastimosamente, no tenemos como una licorería de, que uh -huh, tiene no. diferentes así como bebidas. O sea, sí hay, pero no es como muy común. But you have uh -huh. like the liquor store, you find all these <laughs> very cheap <laughs> things there. <laughs> muy fina. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can use it, right? It's your city. Your city is very elegant, so no problem. <laughs> there is That's funeral good. parlor. A funeral parlor, yeah, because you have a liquor store. Ahí se pelea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Poner que hay a basketball court. Very good Una... job. A basketball court. Puede haber una escuela, una cancha de fútbol y una escuela también. That's good. There is a school and a soccer field. There is a school and a soccer field. Hello. ¿Con qué está? En East Art. Entonces, como hay dos. 
Ah, sí. Tengo que poner otro, ¿verdad? Yo creo que solo es there, there is tired repair shop. There is a. There is a. There is a. Ah, yeah, okay. because it's only one. Si solo es uno, there is a. If you have three or more, say there are four uh, car garages, for example. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I will see. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. very good job. Okay. Continue inventing because we are about to go back. Ya casi regresamos. Okay. So continue inventing. Continue okay. inventing your places. Okay, students are about to finish their cities and they are going to come and share what they did in the groups. We have, we have two minutes to finish with this exercise. Please finish writing because in two minutes you are coming back. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Teacher. Yes. One question. Yes. How was your experience learning English? <laughs> That's a very good question. You know, I learned English when I was very In young. Spanish, please. <laughs> No, I, I can share it with you. I was nine years old. Tenía nueve años. I was nine years mm -hmm. old when I started learning. Empecé por pura curiosidad. Y les digo, yo aprendí inglés por me. Era me que me encantaba preguntar. Entonces es del buen inglés. <laughs> yeah, porque le gusta. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, I was very young. I was like nine years old when I started, right? Cuando empecé tenía nueve, nueve años. Y sí, ahí fue. Nunca fui a una academia ni nada. Hasta el final que fui a la universidad. Y ahí ya, pues, ya, al final. Pero, pero eso fue. Y eso fue ya cuando tenía 17, 18. Ya había pasado. Pero en su familia había alguien que hablaba el idioma o... o... My, oh, no. my father was learning. Mi papá iba a clases. Mm. Y yo le robaba los libros. <laughs> le gusta entonces bastante el idioma. I, I love to read. Me gustaba leer. Entonces mi papá iba a clases. Yo le, le robaba los libros. Me ponía, papá, ¿y esto cómo es? ¿Y esto qué es? Que no sé qué. Con mi papá. Llévate ese libro. <laughs> Agarralo, dale. And y I love... otro idioma aparte de inglés. A little bit of French. But it's not, uh -huh. it's not very, like mastered as I have in English because you never practice French here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. It is more common to practice English. So I need yeah. to study French again. I am going to be another yeah. student in the French class. But mm -hmm. I, I love English. I have always loved English. And you know what? I love music. 
And that's the best friend of English. If you like music, practice your English with the music, with good music, right? With good English, right? No me voy a ir a practicar ahí con los corridos agropecuarios. No, in good English. Right? No, 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 no. Yeah, practice with music. I, I learned a lot with music. Yo aprendí un montón de la música. Eh, agarraba las, las, las letras de los CD, ¿verdad? que traían un montón de, li de lyrics y ahí me iba tratando de imitar lo más posible el, el, lo, que, lo que decía el, el cantante y cosas así, ¿verdad? buscando vocabulario, qué significaba y todo eso. So it helps a lot. Así que así empecé, Eric. Era bien no, chiquita. ¿Y en qué momento usted dijo que okay, ya ahora sí puedo mantener una conversación eh, antes de entrar a la universidad o ya? Yeah. No, it was before, before the university. Mm. Antes de la universidad tenía, unos, tenía un amigo que era americano. Entonces me enseñó un montón de frases y cosas. Entonces, that was very good. And a good teacher that I had. Tuve una muy buena maestra en octavo grado. Y platicaba un montón con ella. Así que, talk to your teacher in English. <laughs> talk to your teacher in English. And that's, that's going to help you a lot. I am going to call the attendance people. Le voy a pasar lista. And tomorrow you are going to present your CD, okay? Ana Isela Janes. I am ready. Ana, Ana Isela, where are you? Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Ruth. Present. Brian Francisco. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eh, Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. <laughs> hey, Dianita. Thank you. <laughs> eh, yo dije, sí, yo dije, sí, ese gato, no perdón. <laughs> Diego Rodrigo, Eric Javier, present. Thank you very much, Fatima Ibin, Fatimita, Fatima. I cannot see Fatima connected. Eh, Jorge Francisco, thank you very much. Eh, Josué Abel, present. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Y, y Kaiser también. Catherine Jamile. Catherine Jamile. Let me see. Hey, I cannot see Catherine. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. No. Okay, let's continue with Laura Lisette. Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you very much. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Yeah, thank you very much. Present. Tatiana Abigail. Present. Úrsula Adriana. Present. And Wendy Lisette. Okay, Catherine Jamilet. Me faltó Catherine y me faltó Fatima Ivin. Okay. Well, my dear class, prepare your city. Tomorrow, I am going to give you a couple of minutes before, right? So please remember your group, right? Remember your group and remember the different things. You can add more things to your city, okay? Le pueden agregar más cosas a la ciudad because tomorrow I am going to give you some minutes for you to work again and for you to finish practicing, okay? And you are going to talk a little bit about your city. I am going to share the different rooms again. I am going to keep them and okay. I think I can keep them. 
and I am going to use it tomorrow. So my dear class, have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for you to present your city and for you to talk a little bit about this, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students. And Good night. Rest. Have a good night. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.